Hello. In the previous videos, you looked at different types of leads and how to create a lead. In this video, we're going to look at a type of grammar called subject-verb agreement and how to make sure that the subject in a lead agrees with the verb that relates to it. We're going to look at third-person singular subjects, specific cases such as the word every and no, and the words that they create, and when the subject involves certain types of numbers. In general, subject-verb agreement is fairly simple in English. If the subject is I, you, we or they, then the verb in simple present is in base form. In leads and headlines, the most common subject is going to be they. For example, residents ask for more protection or victims report more crime. If the subject is third person singular, meaning it can be re represented by the pronouns he, she or it, then we add s or es. For example, we say a grateful patient thanks the hospital or a mother watches her son win the game. Another part of subject-verb agreement involves words that contain every. These words such as everything, everyone, everybody and everywhere. These words sound like they should be plural subjects. Everyone means a lot of people, so that sounds plural, right? However, all subjects involving the word every are single subjects, so they agree with single verbs. That means that an S or ES is added to the end of the verbs. For example, everything changes but you. Everyone needs love. Everybody hurts. Everywhere seems to be changing. Every journalist needs to follow the principles of journalism. The same idea is true for words that begin with no. For example, nobody, nowhere, or nothing. These are always single, so we make sentences like nobody walks in this town anymore or nothing lives on the surface of Mars. The last part of subject-verb agreement that we're going to look at in this video is about different kinds of numbers. When a lead or a headline contains subjects that are a fraction, a distance or an amount of money, these subjects will all be third-person singular. Once again, that means that an S or ES is added to the end of the verbs. For example, two-thirds is usually enough to pass a law in Congress. 500 miles seems like a long way if you have to walk, and $20,000 was raised by the charity last year. Notice that in all these examples, we need to use the third person single form of the verb, is, seems, and was. So, in this video, we looked at different types of subjects in leads and how to make sure that the subject agrees with the verb. We looked at third person singular when, one, the word contains every, and two, with certain kinds of numbers.